Did you know solar incentives are still out there? Wow, really? Besides the ever rising cost of electricity, there are still rather attractive incentives to be had for installing solar. The only thing getting in your way is not knowing about them and the clock. And no, this is not a rehash of the income tax credit for solar ad nauseum. Some of these incentives even pay you more than once. I'm Sinue from Drone Court, and today we're going to learn you some things about getting a little money for installing solar. Not to be confused with people claiming you'll get paid for going solar, because that's usually a scam. It's a scam. It is not a scam. In 2003, George Bush declared war on Iraq, and only two years later, he declared war on utilities by passing the Energy Policy Act of 2005, which offered a version of the 30% tax credit we now know today. Before the introduction of the solar tax credit, the cost of solar panel installations was higher than Willie Nelson on a Saturday night. I'm talking about nine to $10 a watt, or more than three times more expensive than the average price for solar today. But that's expensive. Introduced in 2005, the solar tax credit was a game changer, transforming solar from a costly dream to an achievable reality. Thanks to this, the solar industry has grown by over 10,000% since 2006. But it wasn't just the federal tax credit that played a role in helping people adopt solar. There were other players along the way that did their part. Oddly enough, even the utility companies got in on the action. And I don't just mean increased electricity rates as the incentive to go solar. I'm referring to actual money back for installing solar panels. Let's take a look. Of course, the federal tax credit offers 30% for going solar until 2032, when it again goes down to 26% as it once did in 2020 before going back up to 30% with the Inflation Reduction Act. The solar tax credit is a dollar for dollar credit against what you owe in federal income taxes. Not to be outdone by the feds, Many states offer tax exemptions on solar and battery equipment purchases and property tax exemptions for these type of property improvements. For example, Arizona offers a 25% tax credit up to $1,000 for residential solar installations. More meaningful incentives besides tax exemptions include rebates like Maryland's Residential Clean Energy Rebate valued up to $1,000 or Massachusetts Smart Program, which compensates on a per kilowatt hour and system specifications basis. And let's not forget the gift that keeps on giving, solar renewable energy certificates. For every thousand kilowatt hours of solar power your system generates, you earn SREX. You can make money by selling certificates of the solar power you produce with prices depending on market demand. Currently, seven states offer SREC programs. Now, believe it or not, the utilities from which you would stop buying electricity are also knee-deep in the incentive business for solar panel customers. Utilities like Excel, Minnesota Power, Austin Energy, and countless others also offer rebates. These incentives vary wildly, as there are a lot of utility companies. So check with your utility to see if they have the goods. And finally, let's not forget about net metering, the king of incentives for solar. Net metering is what allows solar panels to save you money without buying a battery. Otherwise, you're limited in the size of the system you install so as not to overproduce power. Without net metering, you have to rely on batteries to store the solar power you generate. This incentive is an endangered species as California utilities have set the example by effectively getting rid of net metering. Rid of it now. If you're considering solar panels, getting net metering before it's gone should be your priority. As a bonus incentive, California has a self-generation incentive program offering a dollar per kilowatt of energy storage. However, this rebate does decrease in value as more people sign up. And Maryland even offers a battery-specific tax credit of 30% up to $5,000. While solar comes with perks like tax breaks and rebates, 
it's not all sunshine. Rebates or tax credits have come and gone, so don't expect existing incentives to last forever. Does that imply the future of solar incentives will be barren? It is a barren wasteland. With increased renewable energy goals, it stands to reason that solar incentives may continue to shine. The future looks promising, though, with initiatives like the $7 billion Solar for All grant competition and the extension of the ITC to 30% until 2032. These developments signal a strong push toward increased solar adoption. However, as with all policies, staying updated on the latest information is key to navigating the evolving landscape of solar incentives. Information is the key. As we dream of what the future holds, let's bring it back to today. What do these incentive opportunities mean for you? Amidst the evolving landscape of solar incentives, you might wonder, how do I take advantage of this or is it too late for me? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> well, for one, adopting renewable energy means you take control of how much you spend on electricity. It means you can mitigate or even avoid seasonal electrical bill surges that can throw off your household budget. It also means that if you're not too late and install solar panels between the feds and other entities in your area, they'll foot some of the bill. However, it also means that there will continue to be shitbag companies that lie in their advertising to get you to call. People are horrible! Horrible! So if you want an honest, educated, and pressure-free experience, call Drunkquote. We pride ourselves in helping people make buying decisions that benefit them instead of getting sold on a bill of goods lining up a salesman's pockets. We have the reputation that we do because we'll go as far as telling you why solar doesn't make sense for you if that's in fact the case. But before you go any further, do yourself a favor and learn about net metering because that right there is a significant component to solar making sense for your home. And don't let anyone tell you net metering and net billing are the same because they're not. Watch this video to learn more.